There are two modes of control and coordination in human beings, nervous and chemical. Today, we will learn about the chemical system, also known as the endocrine system. It is also called the hormonal system. It often operates in coordination with the nervous system. Endocrine system is a system of isolated ductless glands that pour their secretion directly into the circulatory system for passage to different targets in order to control their metabolism, growth, differentiation and activity. The structural and functional unit of this system are endocrine glands. They secrete hormones which are also called the chemical messengers. The hormones are secreted in small amounts by the endocrine glands. The hormones are poured directly into the blood and carried throughout the body by blood circulatory system. The hormones have the effect at the sites different from the sites where they are made. So they are called chemical messengers. The hormones act on target organs. The hormones coordinate the activities and growth of the body. The excess or deficiency of hormones has a harmful effect on a body. We are now going to study about the different endocrine glands present in the body. Hypothalamus gland and pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is a pea-sized gland located in the center of the skull. The pituitary gland acts as a master controlling gland releasing a number of hormones that activate other glands. Hypothalamus gland is present in the brain. Hypothalamus produces releasing hormones and inhibitory hormones. Hypothalamus controls the pituitary gland. The pineal gland which is present in the brain has no such function. Pineal gland is supposed to be a vestigial organ. Vestigial organ means those organs which no longer function. The thyroid gland located in the neck secretes the hormone thyroxine. Thyroxine increases body metabolism in which food is broken down and converted into heat and energy. The parathyroid glands are four small glands located in the neck behind the thyroid gland. These glands secrete a hormone that regulates the body's use of calcium and phosphorus to maintain healthy bones. Parathyroid hormone also affects muscle contraction and the conduction of nerve impulses. Thymus gland lies in the lower part of the neck and upper part of the chest. It secretes thymus hormone which plays a role in the development of the immune system of the body. The pancreas is a long narrow gland located in the abdomen behind the stomach and beneath the liver. The pancreas secretes insulin or hormone that regulates the body's use of sugar. The adrenals are two small glands, each located on the top of one kidney. The adrenal glands releases the hormone epinephrine, which speeds up heart rate and increases blood pressure to help the body cope with emergencies. It also releases hormones that control the level of salts and water in the blood and help regulate the use of sugar. It also secretes small amounts of male sex hormones or androgens in both males and females. 
Males have sex glands called testes that secrete androgens, male sex hormones. In addition to contributing to male sexual characteristics, androgens contribute to the production of sperm and the development of the prostate gland. Females have sex glands called ovaries that release hormones called estrogens. These hormones contribute to the development of female sexual characteristics including skin hair and breast development. This was the story of the endocrine system. Students, you can also check out other science lessons through the links given on the screen. Thank you.